Hello, children. This is our Nadina, ma'am. I come with a beautiful story today, children. Okay. I think in the previous all the stories you enjoyed and also you understand. Isn't it, children? Okay. Today, let us begin a story of the pot of soup. You know, children, what is soup? Soup is a liquid food. It made by vegetables as well as meat. Uh, okay. So, soup. What is soup? Soup is a liquid food. Okay. We take it as a liquid. So, soup is a liquid food and it made by the vegetables, corn or uh, what uh, meat. Okay, children. So, let us start the begin. Yes. Once there was a bear. He lived in a cave in the forest. One day, he decided to make soup. Okay, children. Once there was a bear. Okay. So, once there was a bear. Once upon a time, there was a bear. So, he lived in a cave in the forest. So, where was the bear lived? Yes, bear lived in a cave. And where is that cave? Cave is in the forest. So, once there was a bear, he lived in a cave in the forest. Are you understand? Yes. One day, he decided to make soup. So, one day, what the bio had decided? Yes, one day, the bio had decided to make soup. You already understand what is soup. Soup is a liquid food. Okay. So, who decided to make soup? The bio. A bio decided to make a soup. He went to ask his neighbors for food to put in the soup. So, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if the bio want to make a soup, he wants some vegetables or maybe the meat or else, isn't it? So, he went to ask his neighbors. Neighbors, those who are living surrounding you, in the surrounding of the bio's cave, those who are living, they are called the neighbors of that uh, bear. Like that, you know, those who are living around you, those who are called your, your neighbors. Yes, children, I think you already know about the word neighbors. So here, our um, beer, uh, when it decided to cook a uh, soup, he went to ask his neighbors for food to put in the soup. What food? Uh, that may be the, uh, what uh, cereals or maybe the vegetables or meat. So he went and asked neighbors for uh, food to put in the soup. So already I told you, the soup is a liquid food that's made of vegetables and corn or some grinds or maybe the uh, meat. So when the bio decided to make a soup, so he went ask his neighbor for food to put in the soup. But what happened? No one gave him any food. Okay, children. No one has given any food for the beer. So once again, I will read the this paragraph. You just observe. Once there was a bio. He lived in a cave in the forest. One day, he decided to make soup. He went to ask his neighbors for food to put in the soup. But no one gave him any food. Okay, are you understand? One day, once there was a beer. The beer was lived in a cave in the forest. So once uh, he decided to make a soup, so, to making soup, it wants some um, vegetables or some grains or some meat. So, it went and asked his neighbors for the food. But no one has given any food. The beer decided to make the soup himself. He took out his pot, he lit a fire. He put water in the pot. He put the pot to boil on the fire. So, the beer decided to make soup himself. So if no one has given anything, so he decided that to make himself. So he took out his pot. He take a pot. Just he observed in the picture. This is a pot, children. Okay. So he took out his pot. He lit a fire. Just observe how the fire is uh, burning. Okay. So he put, uh, he took out his pot and he lit a fire. He put water in the pot. Just in this water, uh, he has put the water. He put the pot to boil on the fire like this. So when the bio decided to make the soup himself, so he take uh, he took a pot, pot and he put that pot on a fire and he lit a fire, children. Then uh, also he put some uh, boil water on that pot. 
so he put the pot to boil on the fire just like this you just observe this picture children okay what i am showing here okay again i will read the bear decided to make the soup himself he took out his pot he lit a fire he put water in the pot he put the pot to boil on the fire so though no one has given any food for him but he decided himself to make a soup so he take a pot and he lit a fire and he put some water on that pot and he put and he put the pot on to boil on the fire so on that time what happened what are you cooking asked a bird peeping down from his nest when our bear started to cooking of a uh, water soup so now a bird that bird is just looking out peeping looking out of the nest so just a bird peeping out peeping out looking outside peeping out from the nest ask the bear what are you cooking this observe children when the bear started cooking soup himself so that are a bird is come out of the nest and ask that what are you cooking so some soup said the bear stirring the water so just stirring the water so shaking the water stirring is just simply shaking uh, something putting on the pot and shaking uh, that that is stirring okay so uh, the bear stirring the water told some soup so what bird told i am hungry may i have some soup too said the bird so when the bear told that i am making a soup so the bird told i am hungry may i have some soup too so it asked for some soup to the bear see when it asked for the neighbors no one has given any food to uh, prepare uh, to make a soup but now the bird is asking for the soup because the bird told bird is hungry so uh, he wants some soup it will be tasty if you give some food to put in it would you give some food said the bear so when the bird told that bird is also very hungry and birds want that soup then the bear told that it will be tasty if you give some food to put in it so bear asked that if you give some food to put in it the soup will become more taste so will you give would you give some food so when the bird told that the bird is very hungry and it want some soup then the bear told that if you give some soup food i will put in it it will be tasty more than it will more taste than now so would you give some food said the bear so the bird brought some wheat grains in its big red beak okay children when the bear asked the bird to give some food so the bird brought some wheat grain with its in its bread the beak you know the beak so the birds having a beak that used to that beak to eat something isn't it? so the bird brought some wheat grain in its big red beak the bio put the grains in the soup so the bio put the grains in the soup just uh, remember children in the beginning of the lesson uh, the bio asked their neighbor for the food to pour, to put in that uh, soup but no one has given but now he got a what wheat grain from the bird bird is also a one of a neighbor of the bio when the bio put the grains in the soup the soup grew thick first it is only the water now when it add grains so it become uh, like thicker grew thicker okay and old rat peeped out from its hole you know children where are the what is the home of rats that is hole the rats usually living in a holes so after the bird an old rat already aged rat that is old rat that also come out just uh, looking out from is a hole what are you cooking he asked so after the bird now a rat is peeped out from its hole peeped out looking out of his hole just ask that what are you cooking 
some soup said the pio stirring the pot again now also the pio is just simply the stirring the pot that is shaking the water what he, he has put in that pot so he told some soup i'm so hungry give me soup my friend said the rat so when the pio told that he is preparing a soup now the rat asked i am also so hungry give me some soup my friend and now just remember children when the beginning asked no one has given nothing now is asking that you are my friend then i am also hungry give me some soup it will be very tasty if you give some food to put in it would you give some food said the bear so again same question the, the bear asked it will be very tasty if you give some food to put in if you give some food uh, to put in so the soup will become more tasty would you give some food so the rat gave cheese cheese is also a one of a milk product children okay cheese is also a one of a milk product so the rat has given what cheese the soup smelled good now when the bear add the cheese into the soup the soup become very delicious smell it gives very good smell okay so are you understand now the bird has given wheat grain now the rat has given cheese so just observe once there was a bio he lived in a cave in the forest one day he decided to make soup he went to ask his neighbors for food to put in the soup but no one gave him any food the bio decided to make the soup himself he took out a pot he lit a fire he put water in the pot he put the pot to boil on a fire what are you doing ask a bird peeping uh, down from our nest some soup said the bio stirring the water i'm hungry may i have some soup too said the bird it will be tasty if you give some food to put in it would you give some food said the bio so the bird brought some beet grain in its big red bee the bio put the grains in the soup the soup grew thick an old rat peeped out from its hole what are you cooking he asked some soup said the bio stirring the pot i'm so hungry give me some soup my friend said the rat it will be very tasty if you give some food to put in it would you give some food said the bio so the rat had gave cheese the soup smelled good now are you understand what are added to the soup children yes now it added wheat grain and also some cheese soon all the neighbors brought something to the bio to put in the pot of soup so one after one when in the beginning of the lesson the bear asked them for some uh, food but no one has given but now one after another they come out and ask for soup when they ask for the soup the bear asked them for some food now uh, all the neighbors brought something to the bio to put in the pot of soup now all the neighbors they bring something to put in the soup there was a big red carrot something has brought little see rabbit it has brought a carrot is it children and a pineapple someone has brought pineapple then a white mushroom just uh, squirrel he brought a uh, what a mushroom then an egg see just uh, uh, just observe here the egg and also other four so by the bear started to uh, making soup himself so one after another all the neighbors come out and they ask the soup for bear and when they told that if you give some food to put in it will become very tasty then one after another they brought many thing like uh, red carrot pineapple mushrooms egg and other food okay children the soup was now very healthy because it added many grains vegetable fruits and all those no because of that the soup was now very healthy the bear served it to his neighbors after cooking uh, the bear as uh, distributed served uh, to it to all his neighbors then he sat down and had a bowl full of soup himself so distributing after distributing after serving of all its neighbors then uh, the bio also sat down and had a bowl full of soup himself again i will uh, sum up the story children see once upon a time there was a bio say when it was decided to make a soup it asked all the neighbors for some food but 
everyone has rejected him to give or any food but after that the bio decided to make the soup himself when when it may started to making a soup so one after another all the neighbors come out and they ask for the soup so when they ask for the soup so the bio told them if you gave something food some food to put in it will become very delicious and tasty so one after uh, another they started coming outside and they gave many things to put in the uh, soup so after what happened the soup has become very delicious and very tasty children so after that so our dear bear has served all his neighbors and also it also had a bowl full of soup himself not only the soup become uh, delicious but it also become very healthy because it added many grains vegetables fruits and many things isn't children so listen children i know you are also uh, having many neighbors in and around you is it children so you have to help them if they are needed and you have to enjoy with them all the lovely days okay children this is your nalina ma'am and i will come again with a beautiful story so now i am telling you bye bye